Please tell me a little bit about what you think of Dean P's scheme. I know we've heard so much about how multiple it is, but now that you've kind of gotten into it, what do you think about it? It's multiple. Uh, really, just a lot of things that we could throw at you um, as we get going in a training camp. And as maybe as we see more offenses and stuff, we'll learn exactly how we're going to attack those offenses using our different schemes that we have. And we could use game in, game out. But I hear great things about Dean. I'm definitely excited to work with Coach P. So, um, you know, everything they're throwing at us, we're all like sponges right now trying to get it right. I like that you use the word sponge because we actually were talking to Frank Bush the other day and he was talking about Michael and how far along he felt like he was. And he, he kind of attributed that to him being around you and Dion for all of last year. And did you, did you see that from him that he was almost a sponge last year to y'all? Yeah, I mean, Mike always wants to get on the field any way he can. I told him, you know, me and Bo told him uh, the best way to do that, do that is to take whatever coaching and, and make sure you apply it to the game. So he's always trying to learn exactly what he needs to do, how to do it better, always trying to become a better player. I think that goes across, you know, the whole linebacker room, always trying to figure out what we can do better, especially with this new coaching staff, learn how to play with them and uh, be more efficient. Nice. Thank you. d Yeah, boy, what does multiple mean? Let's translate that for the for the – Football one-on-one -on -one people. <laughs> Football one-on-one. -on -one. It means, you know, depending on what the other team thinks they do well, I think we're going to have an answer for it. We're not always going to line up in the same defense uh, week in, week out. Uh, if we can be a, kind of a Swiss Army knife as a, as a unit, we can definitely have different faces week in, week out and be able to play to our advantage instead of have to play to the offense. I think that's what that means. So, as I said, we'll get more in the training camp and see exactly what it is, all the different tools that we have, but I think we'll have a lot of them. Uh, okay. And uh, – you know, what? how's it been so far with the transition and just, you know, getting used to, you know, the new regime and uh, new things? It's definitely a little different, uh, but, you know, we're always whatever we need to do in order to win games around here is what we're going to do. Um, definitely working hard, trying to come together as a team. We got a lot of new faces in the building. And uh, me personally, I'm just trying to, you know, become the linebacker that, you know, this scheme wants. Uh, definitely learning, uh, trying to improve, become a better linebacker in that way. But it's always every day you come in here, we got to improve and learn and communicate with the, within ourselves. Thank you. Kelsey? Hey, Foye, you just um, talked about being a sponge and trying to, you know, learn everything. How, how much is there to learn in this defense? Um, obviously, you were a part of a defense for, you know, three years. How, mm -hmm. how different is this defense um, in terms of how much you have to learn? There are a lot of uh, similar concepts, but we might play some things a little bit different, different nuances within each defense. So it's kind of breaking the old habits and getting on the new ones. Uh, that's probably be the hardest part for me. But con conceptually, concepts, when you can piece them all together, they can be similar depending on the look. Um, but then there are different ways to play each defense that, you know, this linebacker coach might teach, this defensive coordinator might teach, that you kind of have to break the habits of the old one. And then for you specifically, last year was kind of your come on to the scene year for those who mm -hmm. hadn't really seen you play. What are you trying to achieve this year? First, I want to get back on the field. Uh, and that's, you know, becoming a linebacker that these guys want. Uh, and then kind of build off of that, keep my confidence up and uh, kind of just keep earning my respect out there. I think that's really what I, what I play for. Not really accolading stuff. I want my respect, uh, you know, people to come up and say, you know, he's a decent linebacker and then win, win as many games as possible. That's what, I, that's what I want to do. Zach? Hey, my friend. Was there a moment, talking about confidence, was there a moment a year ago, uh, a play, a game, where you knew after said play that you belong in this league? I belong in the league after my rookie year, during my rookie year. I got a lot of opportunity to uh, play when Dion got hurt, unfortunately. But, you know, I used that as a way, opportunity for me to really see that I belong in the league, and that, that was kind of soaking wet as a linebacker. That was my first reps as a linebacker. And I said, you know, I can improve on this, but there's definitely a spot for me in the league if I just keep improving every year. So uh, second year, obviously, Deion and Dre came back, played well. I was behind them, but I kept my confidence up. And then third year, I just got more opportunities to really get comfortable back there. And uh, this year is going to be, you know, a lot of the same. i got to, you know, re-prove myself to the coaching staff and everything. And then when I get my opportunities, really shine out there and uh, play with the confidence I need to. And with Dante moving back to a linebacker position, uh, you guys teaming up together, think you can wreck some havoc out there? That's the goal of the whole defense, no matter who's back there. Uh, Dante's going to come in ready to go for sure. 
And uh, as I said, or as Coach Pete always says, we're going to play a lot of multiple things. And we're going to have a lot of people rushing. So keep the blitzes coming from all directions and wreak havoc. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. We have time for a couple follow-ups. Tori, anything? Yeah, just one more for you. You're talking about wanting to become the linebacker that the, the staff wants. What does that, what does that mean for, for you? For me, I want to make a lot. I want to make plays in the ball. I always want to make plays in the ball, get my hands on the ball, get a lot of tackles, uh, but really become a leader. I think that's my next step. Um, you know, obviously reprove myself to defense, re-earn my trust, uh, become a leader of the defense. I think that Coach uh, P, you know, Coach Smith, they're all kind of influencing me to do that. But I think that's my next step as a football player is, you know, really bring a lot of people along, not just through example, but, you know, with words and stuff, too. Okay, we got one for Dila, and then we'll do one for Kelsey. Yeah, what do you think? Um, what do you think will be some of the keys to lead that'll lead you to that leadership role? And you know, uh, first playing good on the field is probably the first part. But what's the That's second part. part? Yeah, what's the second part about that? <laughs> yeah, hold myself accountable, and then really taking that step to you know realize that people do want to hear from me. I'll talk to a lot of people one on one individually. I always got my tidbit, and people look at look at, to what I say and take that you know. Uh, real passionately and stuff. So really, you know, step out of my comfort zone and be the voice that a lot of people need back there. Uh, but as I said, I'll have to make sure I prove myself, accountability, all that stuff, but make sure it comes natural and not like me being a rah-rah guy, something that I'm not. Thank you. Kelsey? You've talked about how Coach Pease has said that you guys are going to bring pressure from everywhere. How do you feel about yourself as a pass rusher? And are you comfortable on that role if you're the one that's called upon to do that? Yeah, we got to rush a lot from the um, linebacker position last year, uh, especially with injuries and stuff. So I think we got a good introduction to it. I think, you know, having within the defense, certainly we're definitely going to keep getting better at it. Um, and if I'm not good at it, I'm going to get better at it. There's no doubt about it. Um, it's just kind of the way I am. So whatever the coach wants is what I'm going to do. I think I can be good at whatever he wants me to do.